announcing in the sky the arrival of the Antichrist claiming to be Jesus Christ. Like I said, imitating the second coming of Yahushua HaMashiach. Now again, the doors that Bible prophecy opens to the reality and the possibility of false signs and lying wonders taking place, such as Project Blue Beam, automatically eliminates the false reasoning of those that dare to point the finger at Elizabeth saying she prophesies falsely. And who are they? Those that do not even study to show themselves approved because they have no fear of God. Who are they to call Elizabeth Elijah a false prophet? Because I tell you, those that mock these prophecies and have trouble believing what is contained within these prophecies concerning the subjects that are spoken of in this video. They prove of what little faith they are because they cannot possibly believe the book of Revelation. For example, chapter 9. Those that refuse to study and show themselves approved that do not even know what they are talking about. Those that call the lost books of the Bible satanic and evil while the Bible itself refers to those books thus calling the word of God itself satanic and evil. And those people are calling Prophet Elizabeth Elijah a false prophet. Foolish pride and no discernment. Satan has blinded their minds and hearts. And then they dare to say, Jesus is my savior. You know, these hypocrites that do this, they are willingly ignorant and they want to be deceived or are either part of Satan's evil agenda to usher in a new world order. Because it is stupidity and it is foolishness to say to the one that loves you enough to warn you, that pays a price to warn you, that takes the persecution and the hatred from all sides to get the message from heaven to you, given by God Almighty, that might preserve your soul in these last days to say to that person, well, you are a false prophet in my opinion, because you see, I open up my Bible and it never refers to the words alien and blue beam. And again I say, well, duh, the Bible doesn't mention the word microwave either. That doesn't make him not real. Foolishness and pride. And all you that do this had better repent, because your souls are at stake. And the hypocrites that do this, I am more than convinced that they are too busy engaging in the sins that this world has to offer and saturating themselves with the lusts that this world has to offer to even care about the truth. And all these things that will come to pass and that come upon this earth one day very soon. Because I tell you, it takes an ignoramus to not see that the Bible, specifically the prophecies in the book of Revelation are coming to pass before our very eyes each and every day, line upon line, line upon line, precept upon precept, precept upon precept. Now what does that mean? It means that the world as we know it is rapidly changing before our very eyes and coming to an end. And all those that refuse to jump aboard the, uh, the only ark of safety, Yahushua, the Son of God. Those that reject him as savior, those that throw his own blood back into his own face, you are coming to an end altogether with this world. And I tell you, it is not worth it. It is not worth it to close your eyes and to close your ears, to shut your ears and stick your head in the sand, being willingly ignorant, teaching others to do the same, while keep on playing your Xboxes saturating your mind with the filth that this world system has to offer until you are in a state of spiritual imbecility and not ready, not praying always to be kind of worthy to escape these things, not seeking God's face earnestly. And sad to say, this is that broad way, that wide gate. And many, most, will go into that gate. Sad to say. But those that are watching, it is no coincidence that God Almighty, by the power of His Spirit, has drawn you to hear these truths. Because He doesn't want you to perish. He wants that all should come to repentance. It is not worth it. Your soul is at stake at this time. And the clock is ticking. 
the great tribulation is a breath away. God's wrath is about to be poured out upon this earth. Will you be ready? There are not a lot of ministries that will talk about this. A mighty wit ministry does. That's why we are being persecuted and hated, especially by many of those that call themselves Christians, yet have no clue who Jesus Christ is. This whole thing is about seeking Yahweh God earnestly. Your only hope is seeking Yahweh God earnestly today, through His Son, Yahushua the Messiah. Jesus Christ who spit and shed his blood for you on a wooden cross of Calvary so that in him you might obtain forgiveness of sin, a reconciliation with himself and the Heavenly Father. This is your only blessed hope for the salvation of your soul and to escape these things that will come upon this earth that we spoke about in this video. The only hope is falling on your knees, flat on your faces today. Repenting wholeheartedly of your sins, being willing to turn away from your sins, and allowing Yahweh and Yeshua to fill you with their precious Holy Spirit who enables you to walk in a loving and obedient relationship with God Almighty in which you keep His commandments. Not break them, but keep them. Because First John tells us if we say we know Yahushua, but do not keep his commandments. We are found liars and the truth is not even in us. We ought to walk like Yahushua himself walked. That doesn't mean we are God or we can become gods. Never. But it means that we establish and keep the commandments like Yahushua our master did. And asked us to do so because he said, if you love me, keep my commandments. And this is only possible through the power of the Holy Spirit. And with that comes the holy gift of of discernment, interpretation, and truthful reasoning so you can interpret divine wisdom that is contained within the Holy Scriptures and contained within the Holy Prophecies that the same Holy Spirit um, inspired that are found in a Mighty Wind ministry, a mightywind.com. Without these gifts of the Holy Spirit and without the Holy Spirit and anybody, whether it are scholars or experts or whoever, that says different is a liar. You need the Holy Spirit to interpret divine wisdom like God meant it to be interpreted. Like God meant it to be taught. No one will enter heaven through any other door than Yahushua our Mashiach, our blessed hope and only ark of safety and only hope for forgiveness of sin. If you, the viewer, no matter who you are, no matter where you are, God is everywhere and sees everything. If you have not surrendered your heart and mind yet to the Son of God, Yahushua HaMashiach, who created you, then I encourage you and I pray earnestly that you will do so today, yea, right now. Get into that only ark of safety because time is running out. Repent of your sins. At the end of this video, I will put a link to the salvation prayer. And after that, read Prophecy 115 that is found on AmightyWind.com which testifies and prophesies of the reality of a totalitarian dictatorship that is to come upon, the Ameri upon America and the entire world, a new world order. It is going to be a rough ride. And it's right now time to get wise and get right with your Creator. <laughs>